May the Lord bless and keep you. Before I get to my main point, <laughs> as days go by, I am experiencing more and more things that I never experienced before. As in demonic attacks. Let me briefly speak about it. Or maybe I should make the video about this. I don't know yet. I went to sleep and <laughs> crazy man. I could experience I could sense my body while I was lying down. And I thought that I was dreaming, but <laughs> how can I say this? There was two of me. One, the real me, I guess you can say, like my outward body, my earthly body, was lying down. And the second me, either my spirit, my soul, whatever, it felt like I was being sucked up in the air. <laughs> Not only that, the environment that I was in was really, really, really hot. I could feel the second me, or my spirit or soul, I could feel like this uncomfortable heat all around me. And as I am stating, or as I stated, there was two of me. So I could sense my body here on earth while I was being sucked up in the air. It felt like I was in my room, but at the same time, it felt like I was somewhere else. And after a while, I heard this really demonic voice trying to intimidate me. And I don't remember what that demon said to me. Very deep voice. Like in this very evil, sinister way, that demon was speaking to me. But what came to my mind and what I did, I started to praise God, telling God how much I love him, how much I care for him, just saying good things about God. And the more that I praised God, the less I heard that demonic, wicked voice. Then all of a sudden, I woke up or whatever you want to call it, my outward body woke up, I guess you can say. Uh, very, I never experienced. <laughs> Perhaps something like that I went through, but to that extreme, no, I never experienced anything like that. That was crazy. And while I was being sucked up in the air, I was holding on to something. I have no idea what I was holding on to. I have no idea. But I was holding on to whatever. And because of that, I guess, I did not fly straight up in the air. <laughs> Uh, 
let's go to first Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 18 to the left is the King James Version to the right is the expanded Bible in everything give thanks for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you what this is saying no matter what happens to you give God thanks praise God for whatever is happening to you even if what you are going through is really hard or really tough give God the thanks for it when I went through that supernatural experience I wanted to complain and get angry about it. But what came to me, hey, I should thank God for what happened. I should not be discontented whenever I am inconvenienced. If something is getting on my nerves, if someone or something is irritating me, if I am being tested in some type of way, I should not be feeling down and all angry and mad. Why God, why, why is this happening? Not so much asking him why is this happening, but doing it in this whiny, complaining way, not really trying to find an answer but to what is that word to vent i guess you can say it is okay to tell god about your problems it is okay to ask god questions but what isn't okay is to complain not really trying to find an answer. You just want to just grumble and, oh man, I just hate this. I just hate that. Just doing it in this nasty way, if you understand what I am saying. You can ask God questions, but don't whine. You can tell God about your problems, but don't whine. Don't, oh God, you know, I uh, don't do that. We need to give God thanks in everything. There are times when I am speaking to God about something and I cry. But I don't whine and complain and stuff like that. I may tell God about what I am going through, but I am not doing it in this grumbling, murmuring way, if that makes any sense to you. We have to give God praise in all situations. What I am learning too all this week, I believe, what has been coming to me is praise is a powerful weapon. There is something else that happened to me as well. Let me say this too. I forget when this happened, but I was dreaming, but I tell you all that dreams are not dreams. From age, <laughs> I guess you can say from the third grade all the way to high school, I was dreaming about my enemies. Like, I believe almost every enemy, maybe six of them. And those enemies, my enemies from the third grade to the, I guess, high school, they were, I guess there were only six of them and they were fighting in this room. And for some reason, 
I was there watching the fight, which I really don't like. I don't watch real fights, like outside fights. So when I was going to walk away, I guess the scene changed and I was walking out of a doorway and all of those people were walking to me like trying to attack me or something and all of a sudden what came to me Kevin praise God so I started to tell those people how much I love God how much I honor God I thank you Jesus and all this stuff here and when I was saying that it was making those demons yes they are demons demons that are disguised as my enemies when I was praising God it was making those demons really really angry and they could not do any harm to me so I believe what God is trying to teach me is praise is a powerful weapon Praise is a powerful weapon. So I guess I am being trained in that way. So let me stop here. Give thanks to God. Stop complaining and murmuring. No. Tell Jesus thank you. Yes, I am going through a bad time now, but thank you, Jesus. I praise you, Jesus. You are a wonderful God. Say good things about God. Praise is a powerful weapon. Let me stop here. God bless you. If this video have helped you in any way, make sure you share it and subscribe. God bless you.